demonstration, we will look at how we can domain join a Windows 10 machine. I have the Windows Server 2022 with the Active Directory Users and Computers consoles open here. If you don't remember how to open it, you can go to your Server Manager, go to Tools, and click on this Active Directory Users and Computers section, and that will open up the console for you. On this console, under the Organizational Unit Client Computers, we have the device Win11 Pro X64 WS1 listed. This is a domain join Windows 11 machine, and we name the machine conveniently as Win11 Pro X64 WS1, and that's why it is showing up here as such. What we are trying to do now is to connect a Windows 10 machine to this Windows Server 2022. So let's go to the Windows 10 machine. And in here, the first thing we need to make sure that we can reach our domain or our server from this client. To do that, I will go to the start menu and type CMD for command prompt. And in here, what we will do, we will ping the server. So there's two different ways to ping the server. What you should try is to ping the server by the domain name. So we will go ping sanuja.local. So in this situation, it clearly resolves to the IP address of the server and it is uh, good to go. We can verify this by going back to our Windows server and going to the server manager. And if we go to the local server, we see that sanuja.local is the domain name and it is associated with 192.168.1.3. And on this command prompt, we see that sanuja.local domain name returned 192.1.8.1.3. So if this thing fails, what you need to do is to you need to go to the control panel and then check for the network connection uh, options under view network uh, status. And you may have to change some IPv4 uh, and IPv6 configurations under properties of that particular network uh, you know, card. So for example, in IPv4, you may have to change some of those properties in order for uh, the system to see each other. So once the network connection is verified and you can ping by the domain name, not by just the IP address, but the name, the name get resolved to the IP address of the server, you can proceed to connect this device to the server. To join the domain, I will go into the start menu again, going into settings, click on systems, under systems, I'll go all the way down and click on the section called about. And in here, we see that we have conveniently named this device as Win 10 Pro X64 WS2, keeping up with the naming conventions that I have for my Windows 11 machine. Now, if you want to change this name on your Windows 10 machine, you can click on this option called rename this PC, and you can rename to whatever you like. But keep in mind, whatever the name you use, once you rename it, you have to reboot this server. You know, the, so not the server, the end client, before you uh, domain join. So if you decided to rename it, you need to reboot this uh, device. So I already have the name I want. So the next thing I will do is to go to the option called the advanced system settings from the right hand pane. So click on advanced system settings. And in here, go to Computer Name tab, click on Change under the section called to name this computer or change its domain or workgroup. So we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna switch the member off from workgroup to domain, and we're gonna enter sanuja.local because that's my domain, sanuja.local. And when I click OK, it will communicate with the sanuja.local server and ask for the administrative username and password. So just like that. So our domain administrative username and password say the administrator and then the password.
and then I'm going to click OK. Now what that's going to do is it, it authenticated my domain administrative privileges and domain join this device. You need to now reboot this device to apply this change. So I'm going to close all of these windows and I'm going to restart this device and when it come back it will have the domain connection and we will see the uh, this device showing up on our active directory as well. So back on the Windows Server 2022, if you look at the Active Directory Users and Computers Console, under Computers section, you don't have anything showing up. But if you refresh this section up here by clicking on this green uh, refresh button, you will see that your new Windows 10 Pro X64 is right here under the Computers section. Previously, I mentioned that you can run a script to move these devices automatically to a specific organizational unit, such as the client computers organizational units. But for now, by default, it is just gonna show up under the computer section of your Active Directory users and computers. Again, without using a script, you can simply move to the client computers or whatever the organization unit you want by simply right clicking and then saying move, selecting move, and then in here on this uh, tree diagram, we see the NetIT Geeks uh, OU, and under NetIT Geeks OU, we see the client computer section, so I can click on that OU and click OK. Now what happened? It is under the client computer section, and it is showing up here now. So let's go back to the Windows 10 machine that is being rebooted after we have domain join. So it's almost uh, done. Um, this happened because there is a Windows update going on, not because of we just domain join. A domain join won't cause this type of uh, update. So you're back at the lock screen or logging screen. So if I click on here, this is the local user. So we need to join the domain user. So when you first access your Windows 10 machine after domain joining, the one that's going to show up most likely is your local account. So what we need to do, we need to click on other user right here. And in here it says sign in to Sanuja. That's my sanuja.local domain. You can join into a different domain if you would like to, but we join only to sanuja.local. And I'm gonna enter a username uh, that is part of my Active Directory to log into this device. So I just pick a random user from uh, my Active Directory users and computers because she's logging into this device for the very first time after it domain join, it's gonna set up all the Windows features. So it's gonna take a few minutes So now we have a domain join Windows 10 machine. I'm going to make this easier for you to see by right clicking here, going to display settings uh, because I have a graphic card uh, that is really high density, uh, high resolution. I'm going to change the resolution so it's easy for you guys to see. Let's go to 250. That's much better. So now in here, if you go back to the start menu, go to settings section and go to systems and go to the about you can see that this device is now part of the sanuja.local domain because under full device name we see win 10 pro x64 ws2 sanuja.local and if we go back to our windows server 2022 remember we move the client computers uh, sorry, the device to the client computer section. And if you cl double click on Win 10 Pro X64 WS2, you can see that it is our new Windows uh, 10 Pro machine that just joined the domain.
So that's how you join a Windows 10 machine to your Windows Server 2022 Active Directory Domain Controller. If you have any questions or concerns regarding anything I covered today, please don't hesitate to contact me. Until next time, have a nice day.